All righty. Hello and welcome to module three in our YTT. We're going to start off today with our simple vinyasa practice that we've already done a couple of times. And this recording will be something that you have as a reference so that you can listen to the action words that I use, mm -hmm. listen to the cues, the way that I break down the poses, um, just this resource that you can always come back to. And uh, we'll start off with centering like always. And we're we are going to use a an affirmation, a mantra specifically for the throat chakra. Um, so when you are ready, you get a block and we're gonna get started on our backs. So come all the way down to your back. And just take a moment to get comfortable. You can lie down with your legs extended all the way, or you can keep your knees bent with your feet on the ground. Just take a moment to settle in. And close your eyes. And check in with yourself mentally and physically and emotionally. And then bring all of your focus to your breath. And while you breathe, set your intention for this class. If nothing comes to mind, I'd like to offer you a mantra. In your mind, say to yourself, I practice patience with myself. And as we move along through the practice, whenever your mind wanders off, repeat your mantra again, whether it's your own mantra or the one that we've set. I practice patience with myself. And then make your next inhale really big, fill up your lungs, and then sigh everything out. Again, take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And then sigh it all out, let it go. Continue to breathe through your nostrils. And know that this reclined position is always an option. Even if we're moving around, even if I'm guiding you into different positions, know that you can always come right back here. Take a full breath in. Exhale and gently prop yourself up on your forearms and then come all the way up to a seat. You can get your block and sit down on your block. Press your sitting bones down and lengthen your back. Inhale and lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart and pause for a moment. Repeat your mantra. Today, I will practice patience with myself. Inhale and lift your arms up. Exhale, lower your right hand down to the ground. Reach your left arm over to the right. And get a side stretch along your left ribs. Inhale, come back through center, lift both arms. Exhale, lower your left hand down, side stretch in the other direction. Inhale, come back up. Get really tall with your torso. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, side stretch to the left. 
We'll take one more on each side. Flow with your own breathing. In and out. Last one. In and out. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bring your right hand behind you and your left hand on your right. Sit up a little taller to breathe in. Rotate a little deeper, look past your right shoulder. Inhale, come back through center, unwind and reach up. Exhale, rotate to the left side. With your hand on your knee, sit up taller and breathe in. Rotate a little deeper and breathe out. Inhale, come back through center, reach up. Exhale, spinal twist to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, take it over to the left. Take one more on each side and let your own breath guide you. You don't have to synchronize with me or with anyone else. Just with your breath. Last one. And then come back through center, lift your arms up. And walk your hands forward, transition to all fours and remove your block. Set it back up to the top of the mat. And then widen your knees as wide as your mat. Keep your feet together and sit back. Lower your forehead down. Close your eyes. And settle into child's pose, balasana. Notice how your body feels after those spinal twists, side bends. Feel the prana circulate around your midline. And stay consistent with your breath. Inhale and rise back up to all fours. Come to tabletop. Exhale, stack your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Inhale, lift your chin up, lift your tailbone up. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and round your back. Again, inhale, cow pose, look up. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine. Continue to flow through cat and cow. As you breathe, you can explore some side to side movements with your hips. You can draw some circles with your rib cage. Or you can use this time to stretch out your wrists. Know that you can always incorporate your own intuitive movements. This is your time to check in with your sensations. Stay fully present in your experience. Take one more really big breath wherever you are. Then come back into a neutral spine and spread your fingers wide. Tuck your toes. Inhale and hover your knees one inch above the mat. Exhale, lift your hips up and back. Look towards your feet. Down dog, auto mukha, sanasana. Your tailbone really high. And pedal out your heels, stretch out your calves. And keep pushing the ground away. Make a capital A shape with your body. And then inhale and shift into high plank. Stack your shoulders over your hands. And hold your high plank. You can stay there on your feet or you can come down to your knees. And just suck your belly button in. And feel the long line of pranic energy flowing from the crown of your head all the way through your spine. 
And take another breath in. Exhale, shift forward, bend your elbows and squeeze them close, hover in chaturanga, then softly come down to your belly, untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your chest up just a little bit at first. Exhale, lower down. Scoot your hands back a couple inches on the mat. Inhale, lift your chest all the way, straighten your arms, up dog. Hold this pose while you breathe and press your shoulders down away from your ears. Keep your toes untucked, cover your knees and your quads off the mat. You breathe in. Exhale, tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale and walk your feet up to the top of the mat. And keep your feet hip width and slide your hands up to your shins. Lengthen your back like a tabletop. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Tuck your chin and slowly roll yourself up, vertebra by vertebra, till your chin is the last thing to lift up. Inhale and lift your arms overhead. Tadasana, high mountain pose. Exhale and dive down with a long back, soft bend in your knees, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins, lengthen your back. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back into plank, bend your elbows and hold your chaturanga on your feet or on your knees, up to you. Inhale, up dog or cobra, lift your chest up. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing up. Inhale, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat, halfway lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up, Tadasana, lift your arms overhead. Exhale, dive down, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands, step back, and hold it with your elbows bent. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Pause in your down dog and focus on the length in your back. And remember, if you ever feel any pain or any discomfort, you can always adjust your posture or find something else. You don't have to do anything that doesn't feel right for you. And inhale, look up towards your hands. Exhale and walk your feet up. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins. Exhale, fold. With your fingers on the ground, step your left foot back, just your tippy toes, not the whole foot, all the way back so your leg is extended. And press your left hand down on the ground or on a block. Inhale, lift your right arm up, open twist. Exhale, lower your hand down for just a moment. Inhale, lift, lift it up again, open twist. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, lift your right arm and rotate your spine. Exhale, lower your hand down. Step back into high plank and pause. Breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga with control. You can always skip it. It's up to you. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale and travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. With your fingers on the ground, step your right foot back, just your tippy toes. Press your right hand down. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Exhale, lower your hand back down. Again, inhale, lift it up, open twist. Exhale, lower down. 
One more time, take a full breath in. Exhale, lower your hand down. With your hands firm on the mat, step back, chaturanga your own way. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha, down dog. And this time, lift your right leg all the way up, three-legged dog. Take a full breath in. Exhale, step your right foot through between your palms. And keep your right knee stacked directly over your ankle and lift both arms up. High crescent lunge. You can make some adjustments. You can get wider or more narrow. Just make it something that feels comfortable, something that feels really stable. Inhale, get longer with your arms. Exhale and spin your back heel down. Take your arms out to a T, warrior two. You can adjust your feet here so your right toes are still pointing forward, left toes are facing the left. Make your arms work really strong, reaching out in opposite direction. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, reach forward, bring your right forearm down to your thigh, lift your left arm up. Side angle, keep shifting your left shoulder back in space. You have the option to stay supported on your thigh or you can get your block, place it next to your big toe, extend your right arm down, just an option. And keep your right knee really bent. Inhale, sweep your right arm back, slide your left hand down your thigh, reverse warrior. Stay in this pose and lunge a little deeper. Imagine you're trying to high five the back wall. Feel that long stretch on the side of your torso. And take another breath in. Exhale, windmill down, frame your foot, step back into plank and flow through chaturanga. Up dog and breathe in. Down dog and breathe out. Inhale, lift your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Ground down firmly with your left foot, then lift your arms up. High crescent lunge. It might feel totally different on this side. So make those adjustments. So most of your weight is in the front leg. And your back heel is really high, like you have a six inch stiletto in that back leg. And take another breath in. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down. And look at your feet. Make sure your left heel lines up with your right arch or your right heel. And feel that big external rotation in the left knee, like you're pointing it out in the same direction as your pinky toe. Inhale, get taller with your back. Exhale, reach forward, bring your left forearm down, lift your right arm up. Remember that you can explore your own variation. Everything that I offer you is just a suggestion. If you tried the arm extension on the other side, try it here, place your block down next to your foot. and keep your left knee bent. Inhale, sweep your left arm back, reverse warrior. Exhale, stay in this pose and refine it. Feel the left leg really strong. And take another breath in. Exhale, windmill down, frame your foot and flow through chaturanga. Or you can skip it or you can put your knees down. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, reach overhead, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach forward, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. 
Exhale, windmill down, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, urdhva mukha svanasana. Exhale, auto mukha svanasana. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, reach up, high crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen your back. Exhale, reach forward, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach for the back of the room. Exhale, windmill down, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, then lift your hips high. Inhale, lift your right leg again. Exhale, step it through. Flow with your own breathing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Remember, you don't have to synchronize with anyone. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side angle. Practice your patience with yourself. Inhale and reach back. Make it intentional. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one. Take a breath in, lift your left leg. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach forward, side angle. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, windmill down your version of Chaturanga. Inhale, open up your chest, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And take a really big breath in. And then open mouth, release. Inhale and look up to the top of your mat, then make your way up to the top. And take your time to get there. Sit your hips low, point your toes out slightly for Malasana. Make sure your feet are completely grounded from the heels all the way out to the toes. You have the option to use a block as a seat. Now that we've increased the circulation in the body, can settle in to some mobility. And bring your hands together in front of your heart and draw your pelvic floor in and suck your belly button in. Imagine you're drinking through a straw inside of your pelvis. These are your deep core stabilizers. And while you breathe, repeat your mantra in your mind. And then ground down firmly with your feet. And bring your hands down to the ground and lift your hips up, spin your heels out, hold forward. If you're using a block, move it back up to the top and roll yourself up to standing. Good job. And then up at the top of the mat, keep your feet hip width distance apart, all 10 toes pointing forward. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, sit your hips low into chair pose, Utkatasana, with your heels heavy and your toes light. Imagine that there's a small chair behind you and you're trying to sit down. You can reach in front of you, you can take your arms overhead, or you can bring your hands together in front of your heart. See if you can lift your toes up. So now your weight is shifted more into the back to utilize all of these muscles behind the hips and the glutes, the hamstrings. Spread your toes apart and then lay them back down. So now you have a wider base more stable, sink another inch deeper. 
Inhale and rise all the way back up. Exhale, release your arms. Good job. And get your block. Step your left foot all the way back and turn to face the left side. With your feet really wide. You can scoot your heels out so you're slightly pigeon-toed. And take a breath in. Exhale and place your block down on the ground. For Prasarita Padmasana, wide-legged forward fold. You can shift side to side, bend one knee, then the other knee, and alternate. And just get the juices flowing. And then hold it. And bring the crown of your head closer towards your block. Bring your hands down on the ground. And take three really long, really deep breaths. And remember that your breath is just as important as your movements. And inhale, bring your hands back on your block, lengthen your back. Exhale, slightly bend your knees, hold on to your block, and come all the way back up to stand. And then turn your left toes to the back of the mat. Keep your block in your left arm and open your arms out to a T. Inhale and reach for the back of the room. Exhale, lower your block down next to your big toe and reach your right arm back. You can keep just a tiny micro bend in your left knee. And imagine that you could lean on a wall behind you, even if that means coming up a little taller out in your triangle pose, trikonasana. And notice where you feel the effort in this pose. And let go of any expectations. Just notice what happens when you make this shape. And then bring your left hand on your block and place your block a couple inches in front of your left toes. And then launch into your left leg and lift your right leg back. Take your time for Ardha Chandrasana balancing half moon. See if you can get lighter on the block. You can make it shorter, just your fingertips, or you can float your fingers next to the block. Keep flexing your right ankle so the whole right leg is really active. And take another breath. And hold on to your block and come all the way back up. Good job. Turn your left toes to the side, then your right toes to the front. Keep the block in your right hand, open your arms out. Inhale and reach forward. Exhale, lower your block down next to your foot, and then shift your left shoulder back in space. Trikonasana. Imagine that you could send your breath into your hips, into the left side of your body. as if you could create space in your body with your breath. And then use your right hand to place your block in front of your right toes, launch onto your right leg and lift your left leg back, half moon. Imagine that you're pressing your left heel on the back wall so your ankle stays active. And get lighter on your block. Challenge your balance. And take one more breath. And then get your block and come all the way back. Beautiful work. 
Let's come back up to the top of the mat and put the block down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale and fold forward. Your hands on your block. Step your right foot back, just two or three feet. Make sure your feet are not on a tight rope and your hips are level with each other. Pyramid pose. You can slightly bend your left knee, but keep your right leg straight. And bring your forehead closer towards your left knee. If you feel your hips shift off to the left, then keep scooting your left hip back on your right hip forward. And then walk your block forward a little bit more. Inhale and lift your right leg back like you're stamping it on the back wall for supported warrior three. So your body resembles a capital T shape. Create a long line from the crown of your head back into your right heel. Get lighter on your block. You can keep one hand on the block or you can fly both arms back or fly both arms forward. You feel all the muscles along your spine really active to keep your torso lifted. And take another breath in. Exhale, step your feet together and come all the way back up. Good job, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And then step your left foot back, just two or three feet. Four pyramid pose. You can slightly bend the right knee, but keep your left leg straight. And stay anchored down with your left heel. Breathe into the deep hamstring stretch on the right side. And then walk your block forward a little bit. Inhale and lift your left leg back. Exhale, keep flexing your ankle so your toes are pointing down. And your hips are level. And challenge your balance, get lighter on the block. Remember, it's just an option. And create your own unique version of this, whatever makes you feel strong. And this is perfect time to practice patience with your yoga practice. So one more breath in. Exhale, step your feet together, and then come all the way up. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. And turn your right toes to the right. Bring your right heel to your left ankle, or your calf, or your inner thigh, anywhere except next to your knee. And then open up your arms, grow your branches. If you feel really stable, you can start to look up. Tree pose. And take one more breath. And then release your arms, release your legs, shake it out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. And turn your left toes to the left and set up your foot placement, anywhere but your knee. There's no ideal foot placement. There are no goals. Just an opportunity for you to practice your single leg balance. And you can try something different with your arms. You can bring them down like a low V. 
take them out like a T. You can bring your hands together behind your back. You can get really creative. You find something that's not moving. And look at that. That's your drishti. That will help you with your balance. One more breath in. Exhale and release. And shake it out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Open your right arm to the right. Bend your right knee and find your foot from the big toe side. So your palm is still facing the right. So you still have external rotation in your shoulder. You can stay right there in that quad stretch or lift your left arm up. Option to kick into your right leg, kick into your right arm. Natara Jasana, dancer's pose. And take three more breaths. And then bring your knees together and let go of your foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Open your left arm to the left. Bend your left knee, find your foot. You can hold it there or lift your right arm, kick into your left leg. Lift your energy up away from the ground. And keep your breath consistent for three more rounds. And bring your knees together and release and shake it out. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands together and fold forward. And pause for a moment. Bring your forehead closer towards your shins. And shift your weight into the balls of your feet. And then press your hands down. Step your feet back into high plank. And hold your high plank a little longer. You can do this on your feet or on your knees. Just focus on the deep core engagement. And take three more steady breaths. Really intentional. After your last breath, come all the way down to your belly. I'm going to reach your arms back behind you. Lift your chest up and lift your legs up. Locust pose, Shalabhasana. Slightly tuck your chin and retract your shoulder blades a lot. Like you're trying to make folds of skin in your upper back. Lift one inch higher. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down. Walk your hands under your shoulders. Press yourself up to tabletop. Take an inhale. Exhale, sit your hips back to your heels. And lower your forehead down. Balasana. Notice if this child's pose feels different from the first time. And repeat your mantra. 
And how can you show patience with yourself in your yoga practice? Whether it's on the mat or off the mat. Okay, the long breath in and an open mouth release. <sighs> Inhale and come back up to tabletop. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, look forward, bring your right knee to the ground behind your right wrist. Take your right ankle across by your left wrist. Even if it doesn't get close to the left wrist, just scoot it in that direction. And then scoot your left knee farther back. Walk your arms out next to your hips and open up your chest. Feel that big extension in your left hip. Breathe in. Exhale, walk your hands forward. And come down to your forearms. Half pigeon. If you notice that you're sitting your weight off to the right, then press the front of your left hip down, like you're pressing the top of your left quad into the mat. And feel the resistance in your right hip fade away with every breath. Take one more breath in and out. Inhale and press yourself back up to your hands. Exhale, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee off the ground, and then lift your right leg all the way up and back. Three-legged dog, take a full breath in. Exhale, lower your, your right foot down. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, look forward, bring your left knee behind your left wrist, ankle across and scoot your right knee back. And take your time, open up your chest. How can you practice patience in your half pigeon pose? And take another breath in. Exhale and walk yourself forward. Feel yourself melt into the pose. Feel your body soften with every breath. Let your facial muscles relax. Make your next breath 
the slowest and the deepest breath that you could possibly take in this pose. And then inhale and press yourself up to your hands. Exhale, scoot your right knee a little closer and then lift your left leg all the way up. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lower your foot back down. And then come down to your knees. Sit your hips off to the side and bring your legs around in front and come to a seat. And flex your ankles like you're pressing your heels out with your hands on your quads, lengthen your back. Breathe in. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Hashi Motanasana, seated forward fold. With every inhale, get longer with your spine. With every exhale, explore your forward fold. When you practice patience during your yoga practice, and then you can start to apply it to other parts of your life. How you show up on your yoga mat is how you show up for yourself. Inhale and walk your hands back up to your quads. Exhale and bring the soles of your feet together. And hold on to your ankles and open up your chest. And breathe in. Exhale and pull your chest towards your feet. Bada Konasana, bound angle pose. Feel the big expansion in your inner thighs. Send your breath to wherever you feel the sensations. Inhale and sit up tall. Exhale, plant your feet down. Scoot your seat forward and lower all the way down to your back. And pause once you get there. Notice how it feels to lie down flat on the back. And notice where your mind goes when you start to slow down. And then hug your right knee in towards your chest and keep your left leg extended on the ground. Hug your right knee a little closer towards your right shoulder. Wind relieving pose, squeeze it a little tighter, breathe in. Exhale, take your right knee over to the left and open your right arm to the right and turn your face towards your right hand. Supine twist. Ring out your torso like a wet cloth. And compress on all of your internal organs, in your digestive system, in your abdomen. Inhale, 
unwind, come back to center. Exhale, hug both knees for a moment. And then keep hugging your left knee, extend your right leg long. Keep both of your ankles flexed and squeeze your left knee closer towards your left shoulder. Breathe in. And take it across for supine twists. Feel the rotation travel up your back from your lumbar spine and your lower back through the thoracic spine where your ribs are all the way up into the cervical spine along your neck. Inhale and unwind back to center. Exhale and plant both feet down on the ground. Press your hands down by your sides. Inhale and lift your hips up off the mat for bridge pose. Exhale, bring your shoulder blades closer together. Interlace your hands underneath you. Create a big expansion in the front of your body. One more inhale at the top. Exhale, release your grip, lower your hips down. And then hug your knees in. Wrap your arms around your shins, bring your forehead to your knees, squeeze yourself really tight, breathe in. Open mouth, exhale, let go of your legs. Make any last little movements. Any last adjustments. Let yourself enjoy complete relaxation in Shavasana. And trust that this is exactly where you need to be right now. There's nothing to do. Just breathe.
gently deepen your breathing once again. And softly reawaken your body. And wiggle your fingers and your toes, and your ankles and your wrists. You rock your head side to side. And then inhale and reach your arms up overhead. Get a long full body stretch. Exhale, bend your knees. An option to roll over to your right side if you want to feel more energy after this. Or you can roll over to your left side if you want to feel more calm. Just have that intention. While you pause, and then with your eyes closed, press yourself up to a seat and sit up tall. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. You know that whenever you want more patience to show up in your life, and just ask yourself, how can I practice patience on my mat and off my mat? Thank you so much for joining me, hanging out with me today. I bow to you in gratitude. Thank you. All right, nice little simple vinyasa class. So one thing, um, first of all, I hope that you feel amazing. Mm -hmm. Nicole, when eventually we watch <laughs> this, you too. Um, I was thinking, because we set the intention to be about patience. And then we said it was throat chakra. And then I was thinking, how is it anything to do with throat chakra? Throat chakra is a lot with speaking. Yeah. It's because I kind of changed the intention, the affirmation. So let me just read the whole thing. That way you get how, it, how patience can play a part with the throat chakra. So the whole affirmation is, I speak up for myself. I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than telling them what I don't want. So I use this chakra card just to give me some motivation to come up with something like a theme for the class. But since that affirmation was so big, I changed it so that it was simple, but then um, if I was teaching a public class, maybe I wouldn't even have mentioned throat chakra. Maybe I would have just left it as practice patience mm -hmm. because patience or rather throat chakra is about speaking. Um, so this is supposed to be about asking, setting boundaries by asking people when you need patience. So yeah. just to clarify. All right, I'm going to stop the recording now. And we're going to get on with our module three.